All right, folks. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at this radio. It is a Baofeng UV5RM Plus. And it's a dual band HT for two meters and 70 centimeters. I just took this thing out of the box. I haven't done any real testing on it. I haven't done anything other than set it up for this test configuration. So this isn't really an endorsement of this radio. It's nothing more than just a power test to see if it lives up to its claims. Anyhow, we have the radio connected into the Nisei uh, SWR and power meter. This is set on its 15 watt range and it's set for power. I'll have a link to this below and you can check it out in more detail if you want. And then we have the power meter going into this MFJ dry dummy load. There'll be a link to that below if you want to check it out. But this is going to be our test configuration. Before we do the actual test, let's take a quick look at what the power ratings are as advertised from the manufacturer Radio Oddity or retailer, I guess. Okay, and I got this right off of their advertisement web page. And so here you can see the radio, and it says real 5 watt longer talking range. And what we can see down here is it says high is 5 watts, medium is 3, and low is 0.5. And you can see these tests were done at these frequencies down here. Uh, when you take a look at this, you can see 4.84, 3.0, and 0.5. All right, well, let's see what the meter says. I did want to say that I was sent this radio free of charge from Radio Oddity in exchange for this video review and for testing evaluation purposes. If you're the type of person who is triggered by sponsored YouTube videos, I suggest you go watch some cat videos. All right, let's go ahead and turn this baby on and see what we have. Okay, so we're in frequency mode, and I set the frequency to 146520. Above the frequency right here, you can see a little L, and that tells us that we are set and configured for low power. So on the Nisei power meter, I have this set for the 15-watt setting, and then over function, I have it set for power. So let's go ahead and key up and see what we see. To keep in mind, we're supposed to see a half watt. Now, when we take a look at the 15-watt scale, that really looks like 4 watts on low to me. So... <laughs> that's eight times higher than what the rating is. It's not really a problem for me. I don't really care. But if I was the type of person who did want a lower power radio, that might be something that I would consider. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enter the menu, and then I'm going to hit number two to go to power settings. And then I'm going to hit menu again so I can adjust, and I'm going to go up to middle. And then I'm going to hit the menu button, and then I'm going to exit out. Now this rating here is three watts, so let me go ahead and key up and see what happens. And that's close to five. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out, we don't have a fully charged battery, but it's close to fully charged. So again, it's higher than what it is uh, advertising at for the middle or medium power. Let's go back to our menu. menu. And let's go to number two. And then let's hit menu again. Power. And then this time we're gonna go up to high and we hit menu. Confirm. And then I'm gonna hit exit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna key up and see what we have. And that looks to be about seven or eight watts to me. Let's do it again. And maybe seven and a half watts. All right, now let's try it on 440. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in four, four three, three, two, two one, one, and a couple of zeros. Zero, zero. And we're still on high power, and we're going to leave it there. So let's go ahead and key up. And you can see that that is pegging out at right around 10 watts which is much higher than what I anticipated and expected. Hit menu, menu. go to function two, and then I'm gonna hit menu again, Power. and I'm gonna drop this down to medium, Confirm. exit. And it's right at five watts where it's supposed to be three. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit menu, menu. two, Power. and let's go down to low. And now I am going to exit out, and I'm going to key up, and that's about 2 watts. I'll have a link to this radio below, and you can check it out if you want. I'm not endorsing it yet because we haven't done our full battery of tests, but I wanted to put this one out here, and you could see the power output settings. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them below, and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much appreciated.